Welcome to our channel. In this session, we are going to discuss about basic block and flow graph introduction. What is mean by basic block? Basic block is simply a sequence of statements. A sequence of statements. The flow of control enters at the beginning of the block and leaves at the end of the block. In the simple sense, some set of statements are written as a block wise. The flow of control enters at the beginning of the statement and leaves at the end of the statement without any halt. Now I will explain the concept of basic block with an example. Here my example is Consider two vectors. Find out the dot product of two vectors. Dot product of two vectors. First, I will write down the source code. So, begin. Product is equal to 0. I is equal to 1. Initially, I is equal to 1. And then, we are performing the dot product. Do begin product is equal to product plus a of i into b of i. i is equal to i plus 1. So this statement is ended. Finally, while i less than or equal to 10. While i less than or equal to 10. We are going to this statement. While i less than or equal to 10, we are going to this statement n. This is a do while loop. This is a do while loop. Now, if this is the source code, first step is convert the source code into three address format. In this three address format, product is equal to 0, i is equal to 1, i is equal to 1. After that, for example, t1 is equal to multiply with some constant. You can do anything. 4 into y. t2 is equal to a of t1. t3 is equal to some multiply with the constant. t4 is equal to b of t2. So, this is completed. This is completed. Now, perform addition. t5 is equal to product plus T4. Sorry, before that one, you need to do multiplication. T5 is equal to T3 into T4. This thing is completed. Now, addition. So, T6 is equal to product plus T5. Finally, product is equal to T6. Now, this product consists of T6. T7 is equal to I plus 1. Now, i is equal to t7. i consists of t7. That is i plus 1 value. And then, if i less than or equal to 10, go to. Suppose, I will write down the statement numbers 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Go to statement number 3. That is, this process is repeated. Clear? This is the three address code for the dot product. Now, how to convert the three address code into basic blocks? Divide the three address code into multiple blocks. So, here at the time of multiplication, you need to identify the leader in the program. What is mean by leader? How to identify? The beginning statement is called a leader. The beginning statement is called a leader. Now, every leader forms a block. Every leader forms a block. So, the block consists of starting from one leader to before another leader. 
and if any conditional statement go to statement is occurred that is also called as a reader simple thing understand carefully product is equal to zero this is the starting observe begin point this is the beginning point this is the another beginning point yes or no so this is called one block this is called one block assume block b1 now here we are beginning another operation so this is called another block through observing all the operations we are using the regular things so there is no go to statement and there is no another beginning point so this is consider as another block b2 clear the point these are called blocks so identify the leader leader specifies the starting point of the block the starting point of the block so now block is simply a sequence of statements so the flow of control enters at one statement and ends at another statement that is represented as flow graph so the name specify flow graph so the set of blocks are represented in a graph format which is used to show the flow direction the flow direction see this one we are starting at block 1 move to block 2 flow of graph each and every block is considered as one node the direction is represented as edges immediately after this one where we are going we are going to again this one this is called flow graph okay now you understand what is mean by basic block and what is mean by flow graph in the next session we will discuss optimization of basic blocks optimization of basic block after that we discuss different data flow analysis Thank you.